In this video, I'm mixing every cereal and milk into one bowl. <laughs> For context, breakfast is considered by many the most important meal of the day. And nearly three quarters of American households, or 70%, eat cereal for breakfast. That's a lot of people eating cereal. So that got me thinking, when was the first cereal invented? The answer is 1863 by American inventor James Jackson. It was called granola, not to be confused with granola, and while it was basic, it was still revolutionary. Now fast forward to 2024, and we live in a world where all kinds of cereals have been created. Just wheat, with cookies, with protein, with candy, with literally enough fiber to make you poop like a champion. Which I tried later on in this video, by the way. Besides getting help with going to the restroom, I made this video to see what it tastes like at the end, and also I will host a mini game battle with my friends who compete for prizes as they taste the final product as well. To kickstart this challenge, where else would we go than HEB? And this Texas sized store had much more cereal than I was anticipating. Although the aisle was long, I was committed to getting every brand and every flavor. There's actually more cereal than I thought. I ran out of room on this cart. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get a new one. I Excuse me. Can I leave this up here somewhere and then get another cart? I want more cereal. I want more cereal, yeah. This is it right there. No one's gonna touch it, right? No. Don't worry, I'm buying. Don't worry. With my cart in good hands at the front of the store, it was time to quickly fill up another one. And let me tell you, I wasn't expecting it to take up this many carts at the first store. Ma'am, I'm probably getting one more cart. I was looking like an absolute freak at this point, but it's okay because I had the goal in mind. Never heard of these, but cute packaging. Aww. Sorry, excuse me. Seven. Seven Guys, I'm actually really nervous. I don't see my carts. It took me a long time to compile those carts, so when I saw they were gone, I was legitimately distressed because I thought I was in good hands. I do not see my carts. What incarnation? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Turns out they did move my carts, but only to get a head start on bringing up all the cereal. So thank you, friends at HEB. I'll try not to doubt you when I come back for milk. <laughs> uh. Thanks, Colton. Appreciate one. it. Are you helping me? <laughs> Dang, you're skilled. Thank you. <laughs> and then I parked. Oh, I always forget where I parked. Where did I park? Dude, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, I forgot where I parked and I felt bad because it was freezing outside. Once we finally found my car, she even offered to help put away the cereal, but I told her to get inside and get warm because this was a man's job. The amount of people that looked at me thinking something was wrong with me a lot. Now the next stores I will speed run because I know you guys want to get mixing, but I want to assure you that I'm going through every hoop to get even the strangest cereals. I forgot Walmart has all these bags of cereals. <sighs> oh boy. I've literally never seen cereal samples in Walmart before, but of course today I did. I was actually looking for a protein cereal. It's really good, right? It tastes yeah, good. I'll buy it. So I bought the plant-based protein cereal as well as a few other unique ones that I've never seen before. Some were so unique, in fact, that they were on recall. So this one's the one that's still not allowed, yeah. right? Okay. Now the next store had some crazy cereal. <laughs> Just kidding, I was actually really hungry, so I grabbed some lunch. This next store, Whole Foods, did have some crazy cereal, and by crazy, I mean crazy expensive. Thankfully, I was mentally prepared for this coming to Whole Foods. I mean, between gluten-free, grain-free, organic, keto, paleo, Charlie D'Amelio, and other endless healthy options at Whole Foods, I knew it was going to get pricey. But thankfully, I did find the best cereal ever made. Ezekiel 4.9 while I was checking out, I noticed something even more disturbing than the prices. This pay with your palm option. Comment down below if you would use this. Oh, heck no. I would say there's a whole lot of cereal back here now. Whole Foods, get it? We're almost home to start the ridiculous mixing process because after checking a few more stores, there were no new cereals left. Except for Target, where I did find some new ones. 
Rudolph. We did great searching around, finding every different cereal we could. But to really spice it up, I had to go online to find the weirdest ones that I could, which you will see later. Since my cereal bowl is actually a pool, I need to lay tarp down for when we get eating and splashing, which just sounds kind of weird. And of course I bought a rise and fill pool, which wouldn't work well, so... I had to go get another one. And I also may have got some extra things for the minigame battle at the end. Ah, just like that, we have our cereal bowl. Oh, what's up, boss? Oh, can you put him by the front door? Thank you. The odds of the rare cereal arriving just as we were beginning to unload is insane, and now we have the monumentous task of mixing them all together efficiently and proportionally. Oh my. Thanks for the help, hon. <sighs> but first, a word from our captain. Hey, captain. Do you mind letting me in my own house? Oi, maybe. What's the secret password? Hang time. Welcome in. Wait, why'd I jump on it? Okay, sorry about that. No more playing with our cereal boxes. Now what I'm doing here is separating them into piles of uniqueness, with the more well-known cereals being at the front and the more rare ones being towards the back. We will go very quickly through them as I pour them in and only slow down on the more interesting flavors for me to give a quick taste test and review. And now, science time. Since I'm somewhat of a scientist, I want this experiment to be as accurate as possible in terms of mixing all cereals proportionally, so here's what I figured out. This pool has a length and width of 8.5 by 5.75 feet, which gives it a surface area at the bottom of roughly 50 feet squared. Now it would be negligent to just dump each cereal in there because the sizes of the cereal boxes are all different and I want this final product to be evenly distributed. So I figured out that if I took four cups from each box with 227 total cereal boxes, that would give me 908 cups of cereal. At this point, I'll admit, I was stumped as to how to get cups to square feet, but I was confident that with a two foot high pool, it would get at least around halfway up and at the very very least, I knew the final product would have an even amount of each cereal, giving us the perfect flavor test at the end. So time to finally get mixing, and remember they get progressively more unique as we move on. Starting out the gate with strawberry frosted flakes. I know the more rare cereals are towards the back, but I wanted to give you guys a treat with a slightly rare one. Woo, dog it. This smells like a strawberry milkshake. Nine out of 10. Now I have these two clear bowls so that way I can be more efficient with how often I have to dump it into the pool. It looks aesthetically pleasing. Dolce de leche cornflakes. Wow. I'm not sure how this qualifies as breakfast because this tastes straight up like caramel delight, but it's so good. They're great. It's our first dump into the pool. I just realized I'm stepping into my own cereal bowl with my shoes on, but I'm going to be swimming in it too, so. Total! Cocoa Puff Minis. Look how tiny they are. I'm assuming they taste exactly the same. They taste exactly the same. Magic Spoon! A bit more of a grainy taste and not as sugary as I'm used to, which makes sense, but you're getting the benefit of... I don't know, magic? Well, I don't believe in magic. Mm. Protein Special K. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight. <laughs> keto cereal. Now this one was like $8. I really don't know what keto is, but let's give it a try. Tastes like dog food. Captain. Fiber one. Good for using number two. Let's see if it's good or not. More protein, less sugar, gluten free. So probably not good. Hmm. This one actually does taste good. The honey is subtle. One thing I wasn't prepared for during this challenge was the amount of cereal dust particles that go in the air when you dump over 220 boxes of cereal. There's so much dust in the air from this grain. I might be allergic to cereal. On to another batch. This batch has a couple interesting ones. Let's get those out of the way and then speed run it. So here is the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So Christmas edition, I think this was pretty hard to get and I snagged it like I'm Santa's 
and I snagged it. But I snagged it like I'm the Grinch. This is really good. It's probably high in sugar, but it does taste like Lucky Charms. What I'm about to show you is very scary. Viewer discretion is advised. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought that would be funny. I'll try to chill out with being too extra. Let's get through these cereals quickly. Oreos, mega stuff. I don't know how you have mega stuff cereal. Look at that. Pretty good, tastes like Oreos. Moving more towards the back, where disclaimer, my favorite cereal is hidden. Trying to go really quick, so I'm gonna pick out two that I think are unique to try in these two rows. We got Mango Flakes, that's pretty interesting. Lovebird Kakava Coconut Kusikataku Sisi Salt. $20, that's all I know this one was. All right, let's try the Rise and Fly. Lovebird, Rise and Fly. Yeah, I really didn't like that one. And my wife was concerned about all the noise, so she came to check on me. <laughs> no. Just try it, please. <laughs> That's so bad! You're my love bird. So we both didn't like that one, and the mango flakes were great quality. I'm just still not a huge fan of mango in my cereal. It's better than I thought, and they really did perfect the mango taste with good crisp. Shredded wheat. What in tarnation? What is this? What, what, what is this? What, what are we in a different dimension? What? What? To give you a comparison of how big these things are, look at it next to my face. Okay, and I have a big face. Let's see if I can eat it in one bite. Ooh, it's like a big, uh... We, uh, what's it called? No. Little <coughs> dramatic. Michael. Losing water. That was a bad idea. Sorry about that, guys. That was a bit dramatic. It was hard to breathe there for a moment. Down! So, huh. oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? This row is all the bags from Walmart. This row is all the bag from Whole Foods. And the biggest thing I'm realizing with cereal is it's either super expensive and healthy or super cheap and unhealthy. I think the best balance is like honey bunches of oats. The healthy cereals. Y'all can probably guess how these are gonna taste, but they were like $10 a pop, so I at least wanna try them. Kinda like clay, it's hard to describe. It almost looks fake, like a kid's toy or something. <coughs> this is false advertising. Keto is not friendly. That tasted terrible. We're getting closer towards the back with the more unique flavors as well as my favorite, and I'll continue to try to show only the most unique ones from each row. Also, you may have noticed this, but every time I throw the cereal into the pool, I try to do it in a different way, so I hope at least one of them makes you laugh. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Access granted. We got some fun flavors in this one. Starting with Puffins. Ain't this the cutest little cereal box you've ever seen? Ooh, they smell good. This is the first healthy-ish cereal that tastes good with barely any sugar. Good job, Mr. Penguin. Another expensive one, Premier Protein. Warning, these are my own opinions and I'm curious to hear what you think in the comments, but I do think I make some good points. I think it's kind of silly. Just have your cereal and make a protein shake way more cost efficient in my opinion, because once you start trying to buy protein products like protein pancakes, protein waffles, protein cereal, protein this, that, and the other, you're just spending more money than you would have if you bought regular food and protein powder. And the real kicker is regular food tastes better than the protein infused food. Also, this is expensive. I mean, bro, this is literally one bowl of cereal for me. 
Actually, one bowl of cereal for me is a whole pool, but you get what I'm saying. Very hard. I like the cacao flavor, but other than that, don't recommend. Cheerios Minis. Keto? Keto again? What I tell you? We're not friends! Making a lot of progress, and remember we still have the Amazon cereal. A lot of well-known brands in these two rows, but we're gonna start off with two you may never have tried before, starting with Turtle Splash. I like turtles. This one says contains fruits, veggies, and legumes. We're gonna taste if it's good for the sea turtles or not. That made no sense. We're gonna taste if it's... You get it. Ow! It's like hard as a turtle shell. Kinda tastes like a fruit gummy almost, just extremely hard like a turtle shell. So they're not Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Cinegram. Ooh, they're a bit darker than usual Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Those, smack! We're making good time and we're gonna keep it that way. So we're gonna try the first two, starting out with French Toast Crunch. Now, I didn't know this was a thing. Perhaps you've seen this before, but I never have. So let's try it. Cinnamon Toast Crunch in all its variations seems not to miss. Dolce de leche. I still think that means like caramel milk. Once again, it's always him. It's also always not healthy for you. It's cookie crisp! What in the world? It's cookie crisp! <sighs> Sorry about that. Even with my antics, we're making fantastic progress towards the mixing and mini games. Starting this batch off, we have a pretty cool one. Cocoa Puffs Loaded. These are straight up loaded. Next up, Frosted Flakes Pumpkin Spice. This is quite unique as well. Ooh, it smells like a candle that my wife would buy or something. Not really a candle, but I see where you're thinking. Pumpkin Spice. Too much. Can you get the vacuum? Keto is not my friend. Look at this bowl. This bowl actually looks pretty. I know, I know that wasn't that funny, but good news is we're almost done mixing and I assured my friends that they would be getting some sweet prizes for the minigame as long as they were willing to do some stuff for me. Next cereal we got, oh, oops, ah, oh, oops. All berries, elf on a shelf, look at that. No, they actually smell terrible, whatever this is. Oh. Finally, on the last group before the Amazon packages. This batch is also home to my favorite cereal. This row is unique, starting out with Ezekiel 4, 9. As described in the Holy Scriptures, take also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and spelt and put them in one vessel and make bread of it. Ladies and gentlemen, the first really good cereal that has no sugar, and I know for sure is making me anabolic, Ezekiel 49. Now time to reveal my favorite cereal growing up, and comment down below what your favorite cereal is. It is Reese's Puff, because the taste is just so good. I don't know, I, I don't know. This reminds me most of what I ate when I was a kid. I could eat a whole box of this thing. Probably shouldn't eat any though. Zombie leveled up vanilla, if you want to color it in. It's kind of creepy, honestly. Vegan. This was expensive too. Not a fan. Finally onto the Amazon cereal and I'm excited because that means we're close to pouring the milk in. Cinnamon French Toast Frosted Flakes. They're great! 
<laughs> I love cereal! All right, I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, making this video did take a toll on my sanity, so please, the least you could do is subscribe right now. And I'm just thankful my wife forgave me and is understanding of my unique personality. Sugar rush. Okay, I'll be normal. That's Come back. Much. I know, that's too much. Come back. Caramel creeper. Again. Not my cup of tea. Guys, unfortunately, that was the last straw. I just couldn't contain my excitement for almost being done and jumping in this pool. Maybe I was getting a sugar rush. I'm not sure. But either way, my wife wanted no more part of this cereal tasting, which is understandable. I still love you, honey. Poop like a champion. Grace, you missed a cool one. 18 grams of fiber per serving. Apparently, that's a lot. Kit Kat. Look, it's like a little Kit Kat. Here's how I eat my Kit Kats. Isn't that unsettling? That's so cute. It's this one brand again. This time it's a lemur. Next up, Nesquik. Very good. Similar to Cocoa Puffs. My groin, my groin, I gotta redo that. Feel the freeze. So that's, that's what I'm trying to do. But this cereal makes a bold claim. Cools your mouth as you eat. No stinking way, dude. There's no way. Smell this. Smell that. Pretend you're smelling it at least. It smells exactly like an icy. I wanted to test the claim if it actually gets cold when you eat it with milk, but ironically, I had no milk yet. I still had to go buy 50 gallons, so I just used water. And the final result, I couldn't really tell if it was getting colder or not. It just tasted pretty gross with the water. It felt great to pour in the last two bowls into the pool, and now we're ready for milk in mini games. <laughs> I'm gonna skip my time at the store because this video would be way too long, but I assure you, I got all different kinds of milks, even goat milk. What'd you say? Lactose intolerance. That's right. <laughs> Listen, I may not be lactose intolerance, but I must admit, I was going home nervous after this. First gallon, fat-free milk. Seems fitting because there's not that many calories in here. Oh my, this is insane. Pouring the milk in was actually a lot of fun, and it put into perspective just how much cereal I had. I'm allergic to both of these, so I hope I don't get any splash. Try the buttermilk. No, no. Try it. I'm not trying any of this crazy Try stuff. Try the buttermilk. I don't want to, you can. It was so sour. Oh my, it's leaving stains on the cereal. You want some strawberry? Yeah. Oh. Goat milk unsweetened. Am I supposed to cook this or anything? Oh no. Ooh, I hear like the rice cream. <laughs> so each of these powder milks makes more than eight quarts. So we're gonna dump in all four. Are you sure you're not supposed to pour it in water? Ah. Yeah. Is it making it? Yeah. So it should be looking pretty good after this. Nothing's leaking, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my. The combination of the sink and the spoon worked great to mix in the powdered milk, and it was looking fantastic. Now it's time to taste test it and play mini games for prizes. I got some prizes. Let's take a look, shall we? So, the first prize is actually a mystery prize, okay? There's uh, just a hint, it might be an assortment. The second prize is a new 50 inch smart TV. A year supply of any cereal that you want. I'll come make a delivery and drop off. Wow. Weeks of weeks of Wheaties at a time. Are you so sure that's not the number one prize. That's it cool. might. You can pick whatever prize. If you're the winner, okay. you get to pick I the didn't prize. Know delivery was involved. Wow, yeah. that's nice. Yes, free delivery. <laughs> nice. Um, I do take tips. With the prizes shown, the guys are now ready to see the cereal, and let's see who wins this thing. What? Oh, what do you guys think? <laughs> Is this? I'm a Cocoa Puffs guy. Oh, I feel like I see a few of those in there. If you can find a Cocoa Puff in the next five seconds, I'll give you twenty dollars. Three, oh. two. One. Oh, you didn't prove it. I didn't. No, no I, I didn't. Was that a Cocoa Puff? I didn't. It was a Cocoa Puff. All right, what's sorry. your favorite cereal? I would just eat random. All right, you can find a cinnamon toast crunch. Five seconds, 20 bucks. Three. Right there. Two. Get a cinnamon flex. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I think this is a cinnamon. Here we go. Here's 20 bucks. Let's go. Now for the real mini game, we're about to test out these guys' hooping abilities. We're gonna have to stand behind the cornflakes line, try to make it into the basket. First person to make it gets the prize. 
And also, for every shot you miss that lands in it, you have to take a bite of oh. this cereal. Good thing I'm in first Thomas is up. Is that your name? Oh! to Grant on winning, but before he can pick a prize, each guy owes me three bites of the hang time cereal and we're gonna do a taste test of it. Do you guys wanna use this spoon or a different spoon? Remember, you have three bites each. <laughs> I'll take a different spoon. So three of these or a single spoon? <laughs> Maybe a single yeah, maybe spoon. Maybe a single spoon. Maybe a single spoon is fine. Obviously our bites will probably taste slightly different. But the milk will taste the same, so. Bruh. Whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Mm. Amen. You're shaking. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, a lot of fruit. Look at your He's doing great. <laughs> He's so disgusting. Nasty. Why are you going for chickens? I thought I'd do four. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just, no, I didn't like do four bites. If, if I don't have to, I won't do it anymore. Why are your bites so big, Grant? <laughs> Grant's loving it. I told you I Is love this a cereal. Frito? Mm. A frito. By the way, that big spoon was hanging on the wall for the past like five years. I never cleaned. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> there might have been some dust on it. I think I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Well, Thanks for telling me after I eat it. Now for the prize selection. Although he was feeling sick, he was still up to picking a prize. I take the mystery. I take the mystery dude. I mean, one year supply of cereal. Yeah. This 50 inch smart TV. Probably not gonna eat cereal for the next month either. No, I'm done. So, you you ruined cereal you're, for me. I'll go with the mystery prize. Yeah, you're going with the mystery? I'll go with the mystery prize. Let's do it. What are we looking at? <laughs> so, get a boom box. A boom box. A rocket, a little mini fire, nunchuck. Okay, yes. cool. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Chuck Team skills. issue Dolphins gear. Whoa! Oh. Appreciate you it. You know what? Promise you can have it. Stop. Stop. Uh, I'm not worthy. Oh, I didn't win. Yeah. Okay. I didn't win. I'm sorry, you can have the free year supply of cereal. Let's got go. you. So, how are you going to get the cereal out of here? You know, that's a good point. I look like I got a facelift. If you're staying on YouTube, click one of these videos. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching this one. Lord willing, I see you in the next one. Grace, love, peace, and mercy.